How you going guys? Just got my UKIT antenna analyzer hooked up to my inverted L which is, I've made for 160 meters and as you can see there let's have a look, where are we? We're at 1.8 if I can zoom that in better there you go 1.88 is the frequency and 1.4 swear and 36 impedance and that's at uh, the bottom of the band so now if I go to there 1.9 we skipped up a bit but what if I do this at 1.830, 1.5 and 50 ohms, perfect. That's not too bad. 875 is the top of the band, so, you know, it's not too bad. We'll just check a couple other bands. 80 meters is where I'd like it to go as well, but it's not happening there. So, I mean, if I get to there and then drop that down to there, you can see it's not, it's not happening. We're out of, way out of band now. Let's see where it gets. Here we go. So, yeah, one point one. If I get any better, one point zero at five point five one zero megs. Oh yeah, we can go there. Not. Um, so it'd be nice to get it down to uh, uh, where were I talking? There we go. I'd like to get it down to there somewhere. So if I've got an impedance of 150 ohms, I need to put a an on or a uh, yeah an onion on there. Onions um, to sort of get that impedance down. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the uh, 160 side of it too much. Um, I've already got an antenna up for 40 and 30, but let's see what's going on here. Look at that. 9.2 megs. There's not much there. Where else? Oh. It's not, uh, it tries there. Not 20 meters. So, obviously the best is uh, 160. It'd be really nice if we could get it to go there. I'll have to do some fiddling around. So 150 uh, in the, uh, what's that, a 4 to 1 on on? I'll have to try and build one of those and see what we can do. Cool. Alright, see me.